My Kerala trip dream came true, coming to India as a Netherlands foreigner. Namaskaram, Kerala Kerala is Magadam. And the pere Ivana. How do you get access to this? You ask them nicely. We're walking through a wallpaper. She's going in for a bed. And this is the story of how it feels to finally see your dream come to life. Kerala is a place so beautiful, you constantly feel like you're walking in a wallpaper. But I didn't know any of this when I first landed in Kochi, Kerala back in 2015 as a nervous traveler. Kerala changed my whole perception of India. And frankly, it changed me too. These first experiences with the people, the Kerala cuisine, the nature and Ayurveda always kept me coming back. It's the reason why I always recommend to foreigner tourists to start their trip in Kerala. But personally, I had one dream trip on my bucket list that I wasn't able to realize until now. Currently boarding one of my biggest dreams in Kerala. And this is the place where the best cardamom and the best pepper in the world grows. Fascinating. Thank you so much Kerala Tourism for partnering with me on this. Oh, this smells so good. A warm, spicy mix of awesomeness. In this video, I'm creating real life postcards in Munar, living my best foodie spice dreams in Tekadi. Oh. I feel like a kid in a candy store, but like a foodie in a spice shop. And finally arrived for my dream on a real houseboat in Alipay. It's a breathtaking journey for which you must stick with me until the end. I've taken over the ship now. But all trips in Kerala should really start in Kochi. The memories always rush back how I landed here for the first time when I came to India. At this point when I landed, I was mortified. But then I just walked to immigration and this airport, the state, Kerala, completely changed my perception about India. You know, people keep asking me, how can you go back to places you've already been? But the secret with Kerala is the more you come back, the better it gets. This is our guide in Kerala. Manoj, he's so knowledgeable. One of my favorite things about landing in Kochi is that the airport is the world's first airport fully powered with solar power. You can see the endless fields of solar panels right outside. But we are off to Port Kochi. So there's actually a scent to it. Kerala flower, a little bit like jasmine, but a little bit more floral as well. Fantastic bed, fantastic start of the trip. For the first time, I learned about the Cochin Dutch connection at the Mutton Cherry Palace. It was fascinating. I discovered something new every time that I'm here. This is my first time in the Jewish quarters and I am clicking away. It's so pretty. This is so incredibly nostalgic. I remember Teapot being one of the first cafes that I visited while I was doing yoga teacher training and they are still here. This dream trip in Kerala is off in the best way possible, but you know what makes everything always better? Based on these amazing experiences, I'm full of expectations and the next morning starts so peacefully. A peaceful as well as an adventurous morning. How do you get access to this? You ask them nicely. Just 
They do it 300 times every day, almost 300 times every day. 45 different design inside now. Same model. Wow. Different design. See. That is so cool. How much is it? 150. 150. Namaste. And the pair is even up. What's your name? Raj Shaiwa. I love ironing. We're fixing my frumpy shirt. Do it yourself. Go bigger. Looking better now. Thanks, Tanko. Well, that was really, really adventurous. And now I am so excited to be heading back to Munar. It takes about four, four and a half hours to reach Munar from Fort Kochi. Last time I only had 24 hours and now we're going to be spending two days. The views are so incredibly scenic. A quick waterfall pit stop because that's what you do on your way to Munar. You make a waterfall pit stop. What even is this scenery? It is stunning! Munar is at an altitude of around 1500 meters and it feels like we are literally driving into the clouds. Medium firm. It will be firmer than the previous, but a very comfortable bed nevertheless. What is this view? What is this place? Stunning. I can't wait to explore more. Oh. Welcome to Munar. In India, rain and gloomy weather is usually a relief from the heat and hence it is really romanticized for a good reason because this kind of beautiful gloomy weather with a hot cup of chai and some snacks Oh my gosh, it just started raining and we were supposed to go for a nature walk And guess what? Hot chai is on the way, snacks are on the way For the lovelies who are commenting on my hair lately, I know, and especially humid weather and curls are not friends. And even though we are in a hill station now, it is humid and my hair is like, nah, no curls. Enjoy the views, but not the curls. <laughs> In case you don't know, I am from the Netherlands and in the Netherlands it rains 90% of the time and it is extremely cold. Hence, I used to hate cold weather, gloomy weather, rain, mm -mm. it was definitely not for me until I got to experience it in India. When thinking of India, most tourists only think of hot weather, but that's the beauty of Kerala. You can go from hot to hill station in just 4 hours. Charming. It's not hot at all. This is a place where you actually come to cool down in the Indian summer. The temperature is really, really nice, but it is definitely humid as you can see from all these clouds. Wow, we. Oh, that is another level of Mollywood dream, my friends.
I did a yoga teacher training in Kerala many years back and it changed my life forever. I learned to have faith in life as an adult, to dream and believe that the future I desire in my mind can be brought to life by listening to my intuition and meditation. For many years now, I've been dreaming on a night on an Alape houseboat and I've seen the tea plantations in Munar. Stick with me until the end for the houseboat experience, but here's what the tea plantations in Munar are really like. Currently walking into my first tea plantation ever. The last time that I was here, we just went to the natural park and I didn't get a chance to walk through the tea plantations. And the tea plantations honestly are just the best wallpapers, real life wallpapers that you're walking into. We are now in the village of the tea plantation workers. They have to pick around 24 kgs of tea leaves a day, but they usually pick around 100 kgs. And they live in this village. And as long as they're working for the tea plantations, they're allowed to just live here and do their own thing. Aren't cows just like dogs? <gasps> oh, you're such a puppy, look at her. Cows are my favorite animals. She's going in for pets. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. To top it all off, there are cows here. It is a little bit cool. The sun is shining now. I think in the afternoon it's going to rain, but that is just a vibe. I am just enjoying this weather so much. It's beautiful out here. I just had to come back to Monar for this beauty. I mean, look around me, this is stunning. If you actually drink the milk of these cows who eat the tea leaves, you'll get chai, instant chai. Can you imagine? It's so cool. This is my kind of nature experience. I love this. We're walking through a wallpaper. By the way, wear comfortable footwear also because there might be leeches. Not mainly here, but there might be leeches in other places. But of course, you can wear a dress on top for the aesthetics. Why not? It's so quiet. With a beautiful experience like this, the expectations are even higher for the overnight stay on the Alape houseboat. But aren't high expectations usually a risk because you might get disappointed? Only one way to find out, so stick with me until the end. For now, the Munar adventure is about to get even more interesting. This is my first time visiting a tea factory and as a chai lover, I am stoked. This is a withering process and they harvest the leaves from the field, they bring it here and this is like a mesh. Of giving the normal and hot air for reducing the moisture. If you uh, crush the fresh leaf, we lose the juice, we never get the color. But for the crushing, we need moisture. It smells so good. If I 
can give you a recommendation bring a hoodie i wanted to pack a hoodie last minute but i thought mm, i don't think i need it i'm going to kerala kochi anyways is hot munar is kind of chilly so i have a blanket over here to just keep warm and i'm wearing two pairs of socks but i'm going to have the most amazing lunch to fuel my body after this adventure filled morning i have over here papad this is kerala rice then we have some curry over here i hope it's a uh, bitter then i have some okra some pickle zucchini i guess a toran and paisam toran is a very very typical kerala dish where they temper the vegetables with coconut and with some mustard seeds and it is so delicious Kerala cuisine, ooh, it is outstanding. It is one of the main reasons why you should visit Kerala because the food is so unique but also so delicious. This is how castor oil is made. Yeah. Um, castor oil mm. seeds. Seeds. So when you crush it, yeah, you get. Oh, there's the oil. Oil. Wow, so cool. Oh my goodness, lychee, my obsession. We're at the plantation, and did you know that cardamom grows at the root of the tree or the plant? Actually, fascinating. Why do I feel like I'm walking in an Avatar movie? <gasps> this is so dreamy. You only see this scenery in cold destinations with all the fog and stuff. But yes, it's chilly, definitely. But it's so nice. I have never seen anything like this. There's just fog everywhere and somehow mystical. Well, really enchanting. Hi. Hi. Who are you and where are you from? I'm Purva. I'm from India, but currently lives in the US, and I love your vlogs. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> There's really something magical about Munar. I can't explain it. Maybe it's the combination of the evergreen forest, the mist, and the wonderful weather. The mist everywhere. For the first time, I find it enchanting and not creepy. It's just so beautiful here. Unfortunately, saying goodbye to this stunning paradise, but apparently there is another beautiful paradise for us waiting. I have never been there. We are off to Tekadi. known for uh, spices because it's one of the best place the best quality cardamom and pepper grows in this area and then wildlife uh, trekking What is this tropical dream for us? This is stunning! Wow, what even is this stunning place? Not only does it look phenomenal like a proper villa from the inside, there is a private pool! There's also an outdoor shower situation, so you truly feel like you've stepped into an enchanted jungle forest. Munar is at an elevation of about 1500 meters. Tekadi is at an elevation of about 950 meters. If you're worried about the temperature, Tekadi is definitely a little bit warmer than Munar. In Munar, there is a little bit of a chill, which is nice and it is very, very cozy. However, if you have a private pool out here, you obviously want it to be a little bit warmer. This is more of an enchanted forest vibe and I am living for it. I had never even heard of Tekadi before this trip with Kerala Tourism. I think it is an absolute hidden paradise. There's an elephant and a baby elephant. 
Wow, this was so soothing. If you're thinking this girl looks exhausted, it's because I am. After the lovely road trips and all the adventures, I am in dire need of some Ayurveda TLC. Ayurveda is an ancient system of traditional medicine native to Kerala and I'm getting a massage. If you've never gone for an Ayurveda massage, you should know it will be two people massaging you at the same time and there's really a lot of oil involved. Afterwards, there is a special steam experience and as you can tell from my face, my soul feels completely rejuvenated again. Time for some food and new adventures. I'm really not mad how my morning is starting. This is a very, very typical Ketalan breakfast. I would say and the first time i had idiopam was actually in kochi while i was staying there lena made it for me and i was just completely overwhelmed by how interesting this is to eat yes you eat it with your hands mm. what even is this place the excitement is through the roof on our way to the houseboat but manoj had one more surprise in tekadi yeah we are in tekadi and this is the place where the best cardamom and the best pepper in the world grows mind-boggling that I had never seen peppercorn grow on trees before I came to Kerala for the first time. Especially if you're a foodie, these kind of things are just going to make you so happy. You should smell the scent in here. Oh, this is all fresh cardamom. Oh, this smells so good. Getting 100 grams of fresh cardamom, 100 grams of fresh pepper, and actually I want a star and a stew. I think that's going to be it. Maybe some cinnamon? And this is real cinnamon, uh, uh, originally from Sri Lanka, and we got that plant from Sri Lanka, and we cultivated. Oh, I feel like a kid in a candy store, but like a foodie in a spice shop. As we enter Alape, so many memories of my first time in Kerala rush back. I was just so new to everything and kept calling the coconut trees palm trees, which the Malayalis found extremely amusing. I'd also never seen a mango tree, but imagine my state of awe learning that I was about to have an experience on an Alape houseboat with the same company that took care of the Dutch royals during their visit in 2019. I really hope this experience is as good as I imagined it for years. Currently boarding one of my biggest dreams in Kerala. So thank you so much for being with us. I must say that first. So I'll introduce my staff to you. Mr. Majesh is the chef on board. And we have Sunil, he drives the boat. And Abhi on the service. A little tour of the houseboat first. Initially, you step into this seating slash dining area, which is quite large, I have to say. There are three bedrooms, but first you have to walk the beautiful hallway. The bedrooms are very, very comfortable with a full-on washroom. Oh, this is such a soft and foamy bed. This is going to be the view to which I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm stoked to spend the night here. And there is a full-on kitchen here, so we're going to have lunch in a minute. But what I really like about this houseboat is that you really get connected with the surroundings of the stunning Alipay backwaters.
This has always been a dream of mine because the backwaters of Alipay are actually a renowned for their beauty. They call this the Venice of the East and I've only had the privilege of spending half a day tour here. Never 24 hours on a houseboat and definitely not one as beautiful as this one. So I'm very curious to see what this experience will be like. The food during this trip has been nothing but outstanding, but of course, the main jewel in Kerala's cuisine crown is the sadia. Personally, I'm vegetarian, but Kerala is also very renowned for the seafood. So if you're non-veg, definitely go for the seafood. When in Kerala, you must have a sadia, and I'm so excited to have it once again. I have so many dishes in front of me, but one of my favorites is beetroot pachdi, which is beetroot with yogurt and tempered spices. It is perfect for this hot and humid weather in Alipay, which I love because it genuinely makes my skin glow. Delicious, healthy, Kerala sadia food oh it is my favorite so I'm gonna eat I'm so excited oh the beetroot budget yes mm. so what do you do on a houseboat in Alipay and why is it so special let's find out I wish you could smell the scent right now because it just smells of incense and nature. We are on the water. There's a fisherman behind me. It just smells of Kerala. Warm, spicy mix of awesomeness. This was some kind of night. Small note, the windows are quite low. If you're keen on your privacy and don't want people peeping into your room, you, you need to close those blinds. <laughs> I just woke up after a magical night on the famous Alipay Backwaters houseboat. And so, one of the most peaceful ways to wake up. There is a fisherman boat behind me. But otherwise, it is just quiet. You can only hear the birds, the soft water. Love it. Now. Currently cruising back and I can't even believe the trip I had here. Kerala is so magical and I think everybody should see this with their own eyes. If you would like to watch more Kerala vlogs, I have linked them down in the description below because there is so much to see here and that's why I will always keep coming back.